Ladies and gentlemen, who is Dennis Itumbi? And how powerful is Dennis Itumbi around President William Samoy Araputo to an extent that even members of parliament are literally crying over Dennis Itumbi? I'm asking those two questions because a few weeks ago, Rigathi Gashagwa was denied the privilege of using the military chopper. In protest, Rigathi Gashagwa decided to go into hiding for a whole week. Then Rigathi Gashagwa emerged by attending a church service. And during that church service, Rigathi Gashagwa was accompanied by close allies, including governors, members of parliament, and senators. And during their speeches, members of parliament, senators, and governors blamed or accused Dennis Itumbi of being used to frustrate and undermine Rigathi Gashagwa. I then asked myself, how powerful is Dennis Itumbi to an extent that he can actually become a subject? Uh, if things are being crafted and are crafted to, you have, uh, to, to, to discredit you and create your failure, because the situation as it is, it's obvious that uh, the young tax of like of Dede Nyoro and the team of Itumbi and the team like uh, Mwangi Kyunjuri. These are young tax that are actually being spent to spoil the image of Gashagwa from his homeyard. Number two, this fake narrative you are seeing is being rumor mongered around social media by characters and people who even never dared to vie for an elective seat. I, Ketu Warugoro, I vied for the PE seat. When I lost, I joined UDA and supported UDA. I want to dare some of these people who sit and imagine that they can form government through laptops and phones, please go down to your village and go look for votes so that you can understand what it takes for somebody to become a deputy president. And I want to ask Generation Z, na millennia, mutoto yote na kijana yote ya 2009, kuendelea mbele, kwa debe mutakuwa mkiweka kurainu. I porojo na narrative na fake news in Arusha social media everywhere, Ask people who have been there what happened and how did we arrive at where we are. Iyo sharia inaitwa ya cyber bullying bill na hii ya kuchunga watu from bullying and harassment. Mwishimu mkami you were in parliament and I remember Rigadi Gashagwa then as a member of parliament for Rigadi to keep it for Madera to keep it here bill. We did not know that the same characters who caused a wedge between the emeritus president Uru Kenyatta and the deputy president then, William Samoy Ruto, would transit with us to come bring chaos in the house of Kenya Kwanza. So yesterday, another ally of Riga Digashagwa, actually one of his bloggers who works for him, GK Malema, accused Dennis Itumbi of frustrating Riga Digashagwa. Malema, in his own words, stated two things which for me are significant political speaking and are going to form the basis of this analysis. According to Malema, Denis Itumbi and the team are actually disseminating negative information in WhatsApp groups. Remember, for those who followed uh, last year's election, Kenya Kwanza, or UDA for that matter, organized themselves through WhatsApp groups from the ground up to the top. So according to Malema, Denis Itumbi is using these WhatsApp groups to discredit Rigadi Gashagwa. And he's also using Facebook pages to discredit Rigadi Gashagwa and undermine him. So that's significant because we know that Denis Itumbi actually works for William Samoy Araputo. Why would he then undermine why would he then undermine Rigadi Gashagwa? Number two, he's also accusing uh, Denis Itumbi of issuing instructions, strict ones, to status bloggers not to post anything about Rigadi Gashagwa. Because remember, initially, when they took over and Malema was part of that team, they would just communicate things literally. So, Itumbi recently started telling the status bloggers, please, no Rigadi. Anything to do with Rigadi Gashagwa, don't stop, don't post. Remember, Itumbi works at status. And the reason why I questioned who is Denis Itumbi, 
Can Denis Itumbe instruct state house bloggers not to post anything about William about uh, the deputy president? Can he just do that unless he has received strict instructions from the boss? So in this video, I want us to try and understand why Denis Itumbe would actually instruct state house bloggers not to post anything about Rigadi Gashagwa. And why Denis Itumbi and Status team would actually disseminate negative information about Rigadi Gashagwa. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. First of all, Rigedi Gashagwa committed one mistake immediately they took over. I think Rigedi Gashagwa over-trusted William Ruto. Hmm. Politics is not church. And even in church, we no longer have trust. The only trust which is... Uh, known in this world today is the trust call that one only but trust does not exist in our politics so Rigadi Gashagwa was played by William Ruto immediately they took over William Ruto threw to him a bait which he swallowed let me explain for you the two baits which William Ruto threw at Rigadi Gashagwa the first bait was to try and consolidate Mount Kenya so Rigadi Gashagwa took that literally and he started talking about shareholding. That this government is a government of shareholders. Literally to mean the Kikuyus whom he was representing and the Kalenjis who also voted for Kenya Kwanza. So by accepting to promote the shareholding brand kind of politics, Rigadi Gashagwa automatically eliminated himself from the rest of the country. So the rest of the country were now not viewing Rigadi Gashagwa as the deputy president. They were viewing him as a leader of the Kikuyu. So once that was done, then William also threw another bait at him. Made him believe that he was very powerful. So Rigadi Gashagwa then became the gatekeeper of state house. Remember, the days Rigadi Gashagwa would talk of kuweka mitego hapa, nimeweka mitego kila mahali, traps here and there. Na mimi na nimepanga unajua yeye ni mtu ya kutumia jia ya kando kando. Pale ikulu nimeweka mitego kila pahali akionekana ana naso. Kwa sababu sasa tukimkubalia ataharibu. Na huyu mzee akipitia jia ya kando akuje aingie kwa handshake aharibu serikali yetu mtu ya kuulizwa ni mimi. Kwa hivyo mimi nitahakikisha. Kwa hivyo rais kama unaweza kuwa na mipango kama hiyo utakuwa tayari kupambana na mimi. Siwezi kubali. Hatuwezi kubali kwa sababu hata tuharibia. That also made Kenyans to stay away from Rigadi Gashagwa. So by the time Rigadi Gashagwa realized that he had been isolated, it was already late. So for me, because of those two reasons, it's very difficult because William Ruto knew that this guy in the mountain, Uru Kenyatta is still there. So he can't just go to the mountain and grab them. Nationally, he's now being viewed as a Kiku leader. In fact, the only reason why Rigadi Gashagwa sometimes I believe is a smart politician is because he also realized that and he explained to Kenyans that from 10, year, 10 weeks, I mean 10 months ago, his politics changed because he embarked on rebranding. So he was played. But why would people like Denis Itumbi now find the opportunity to deal with, with Rigadi Gashagwa ruthlessly? What can we learn from that? The first thing for me is that Ruto, William Ruto, is actually the one or the man behind Rigadi Gashagwa's troubles. If Rigadi Gashagwa is facing any tribulations, it is as a result of William Ruto. There is no way, there is no way, and I'm saying this, there is no way Denis Itumbi can instruct even a sweeper at State House not to sweep Rigadi Gashagwa's house or office. Assuming the officers were just adjacent. Of course, we know they are 
not adjacent. I'm just giving an example. There is no way. There is no way um, Dennis Itumbi can, can instruct a blogger not to post anything about Rikadi Gashagwa. Unless it's an instruction which is following. There is no way Dennis Itumbi, if what Malema is saying is true, there is no way uh, Dennis Itumbi can go to UDA WhatsApp groups and start posting negative things about Rikadi Gashagwa without, without the rest or without the president. Without the president's approval, it can happen. So my conclusion is that all these problems Rikadi Gashagwa is facing, the main engineer is one, William Ruto. Number two, I'm also reading determination by President Ruto to replace Rikadi Gashagwa as a running mate in 2027. Because if members of parliament are complaining that Denis Itumbi is undermining the DP, if Malema, who was part of Denis Itumbi team, is alleging that Denis Itumbi is instructing status bloggers not to post about Rikadi Gashagwa, that is disseminating negative information about Rikadi Gashagwa. But that same Denis Itumbi, we are always seeing him with Nidhi Nyoro. The last time Dindi Nyoro organized a major event in Kiharu, remember the one which was attended by Babu Wino, attended by Osoro and the rest. He was right inside there. Dindi Nyoro was right inside there. And he's been posting things about Dindi Nyoro. So which means maybe he has been tasked with helping the man. I'm not so sure. But it clearly shows that William Buto is determined to replace Rigadi Gashagwa. Maybe the tactics is what is still lacking or the strategy. Number three, I'm also seeing the fallout between Ruto and Rigadi as now complete. Because if it was not complete, then Zitumbi would still be playing safe. He would still be playing safe. But then Zitumbi is no longer playing safe. Which only means one thing. Only mean one, one thing. It's not playing safe. It's clear that Sisi to Koi side. It simply means that there's a fallout, and that fallout is not complete. So it has reached a point where you must take a side. So for Dini Situmbi, he has taken a side. Remember when William Ruto fell out with Uhuru Kenyatta, who was the president. Dini Situmbi decided to go with Ruto. This time he's still sticking with his man. And I'm also concluding because uh, based on uh, the rebuttals by GK Malema that Rigedi Gashagwa is also ready to fight back. In fact, the fact that this man decided to come out boldly and talk about it, it means that Rigedi is fighting back. He has tasked the MPs to deal with that issue. You know, when MPs speak, they are literally addressing Ruto. Then now Malema coming, addressing the media over the, the, the frustrations which are being engineered by none other than <laughs> Denis Itumbi. So they are telling Denis Itumbi. In fact, Malema was very clear in his statement that the point it has reached, the deputy president, I mean, the president must now come out and tame Denis Itumbi. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.